year after year. Not as a geisha, as her slave. It is too pretty a day to be so unhappy. Did you fall down? Why so shy? Nothing to be ashamed of. We all stumble from time to time. You see that enchanting lady in green? Once, when she was just a Michael, she fell clean off her wooden shoes. <laughs> it's true, I did. And now, look at her, so elegant. Mr. Chairman, shouldn't we hurry? We will miss the beginning. We see the spring dances every year. We can spare a moment. What's your name? Don't be afraid to look at me. Do you like sweet plum or cherry? You mean to eat? I like sweet plum myself. Come. None of us find as much kindness in this life as we should. Hi. Both kinds, please. My children wait for these every spring. And <laughs> so you. <laughs> How did you come by such surprising eyes? My mother gave them to me. Generous of her, wasn't it? As you have been to me. Smile for me, won't you? <laughs> there now. That is your gift to me. This will buy your supper. Now promise me one thing. Next time you take a tumble, no frowns. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> In that moment, I changed from a girl facing nothing but emptiness to someone with purpose. I saw that to be a geisha could be a stepping stone to something else, a place in his world. The money the chairman had given me could have bought fish and rice for a month. But I gave it back in prayer, keeping only his handkerchief. I asked one day to become a geisha. And then, somehow, to meet him again. 